which i just showed it to you uh next is uh, you know how do i bring in automation into my office i have uh, you know let's take a typical scenario uh, let's presume the lockdown is relaxed or you are back to normal by let's say in the next two or three weeks because we don't know how the announcements are going to be made if that is the case you will be you know pushed with so much amount of work you know we've been telling that you know all the april deadlines are pushed to june may deadlines also have pushed to june so june will be flooded with work i have to do accounting filing returns etc maybe they might extend they may not extend the it returns forget that and those of you who have read the finance act recently uh, you know i think um, the tax audit report has to be submitted much before than the filing the it return so there are a lot of compliances which we have to do of course you are best in those uh, laws and compliance but i'm here to talk more on technology how i can use it so here what we am going to do is i'm i thought i'll take you through a uh, an experience or in terms of you know what you can do for ensuring quicker data entry in terms of your system so the first thing which i'm going to take you through is how do i do very quick data entry into tally considering the fact that i have a lot of line items in my bank statement again this is a solution which is provided by a third party and there are so many other solutions which are providing similar to this i thought i'll quickly take you through one such solution well, I, I, as of now okay the uh, next interesting question is okay before we look into the solution we should also know where the solution can be applied because it is not that you know i know i i want to use the solution everywhere you should know what is the purpose so assuming i have let's say more than 100 or 200 state line items in my bank statement or i have a lot of transactions which is coming in a structured form in terms of sales and purchases and i want to push them into my tally or accounting software imagine taking one fellow has to sit and key all the data entry huge amount of time it's going to take so instead what you should do is can i bring in a system where i'm reasonably organizing and this is where we can use of course i'm using tally as a basis because most of us use tally typically in our office and of course with there are other th so solutions also available which i'll address that but yes tally is uh, something which most of us are using and that's why i thought i'll speak about how to automate that. the first thing which we have to do is try to keep a standardized chart of accounts and what is a chart of accounts nothing but list of ledgers where a ledger rolls up that is basically a chart of accounts okay so you might have share capital under that few items reserves and surplus few items you might have current liabilities few items non current liabilities few items that's basically the roll up structure popularly called as chart of accounts if you look into softwares like quickbooks zoho books or you know any of the cloud based software they have a different perspective tally has a different perspective and if you see in tally default only four to five ledgers are there not more than that so what we should do over here is can we use this chart of accounts for standardizing amongst all our clients that is the first tip which you can follow because generally if you see whatever accounts or whatever files i'm using 60 to 70% of the ledgers are going to be the same cgst sgst expense income etc the nomenclature and naming could be a little different but overall it generally tends to be the same so can i standardize that that's the first thing which you have to do second thing which you can do or which you should probably seriously consider is the fact that can i move or can i do something relating to you know uh, automation in terms of data entry and that's something which i'm going to show you now so what i'm doing quickly over here is uh, i thought i'll create a company and uh, create this company as bcas and uh, you know sort of ignore all these items period of data entry let's say i choose from 1418 do i want to use tally fault password again optional use a security control i enable it there's again i personally consider as a huge benefit i will tell you why a little later and once i have done this you know i can also use tally audit features please keep in mind tally audit feature will appear only if i use or enable this as yes okay so once i have done this this all are opening in education mode i say no and basically sort of you know put this ready okay so now that i have this data 
I quickly run into an Excel sheet. Let me open that Excel sheet for you. It might take a minute uh, for it to appear in your screen. All right, so here is the Excel screen. So here you find uh, Excel sheet, forget about what I've opened. This is a software which is which I'm using here. It's called E2 Telesoft. It is basically a software which will help you to push data from Excel into Tally. There's a reverse software also available and that is called TCAT, which I'll probably, depending on time, I'll try to cover, but E2 Telesoft is something which I thought I'll make a mention. So I've gone to the software and I've told that boss, Please download all the vouchers or you know basically give me all the formats available i've asked them to give me a template in terms of what is possible so i've asked them to give me a template for what is called as a masters and what is a master we all know that masters are ledger accounts uh, you know sub ledger accounts etc so you will find here masters and under that master it has various options which i can click accounting cost center attendance, uh, you know, etc. So I just show sample data and I click open. Uh, in a minute, a new window appears, which I will just show it to you in a minute. You'll have to just give me some time, uh, which is nothing but this Excel sheet. So what you find in this particular Excel sheet is basically on the bottom, you will find uh, uh, multiple categories. One is called as groups. The other is called ledgers and the other is called voucher types. So ignore the statistics. I will quickly go through this group, ledgers and voucher types. Here, what I plan to do is, can I import all of them in Tally at one shot? So for that, I use the software again, and I go to the software and say, import Tally. What is it that I want to import? All my masters. So I click on masters, and it says that, what is it that you want to import? So I say, hey, you know what? Why don't you import my groups, ledgers, and voucher types. So the moment I say import all these three, it will take a minute or two, but it will push all this data. It will say which is the file where you want to import it, uh, you know, in terms of which is the account code or what is the name of the ledger. So the moment I say, okay, this sort of importing it, I'm not sure whether you're able to see the screen because I don't have the uh, access to share my screen, uh, but what happens is that it is imported a whole lot of these transactions. Okay, and what is the result? The result is this. If I go back to my tally, I can find the entire setup over here. Okay, I can find the entire setup over here. Uh, if I go to my display accounts ledger, or for that matter, go to accounts info ledgers and display, I found all these ledgers are actually being recorded. Okay, so one shot, I was able to import a whole lot of ledgers which was appearing and which was necessary. Uh, so just give me a minute. Uh, can I please request the organizer to give me access to, uh, access to share the entire screen? I think I'm able to share only one window at a time. Uh, if you could just check with uh, admin how that can be done because I'm not having the option over here. I think you have disabled it online. You can just figure that out. In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead so that I'm not uh, wasting time on this. Okay, so while the admin figures out how that can be done, uh, let's quickly go to this particular uh, um, next set of exercise which I want to take you through. And that's basically, uh, let's say I want to import a bank statement. And let's say I have a simple bank statement. And uh, you know how a bank statement normally looks like. This is the bank statement. And in this bank statement, you find a whole lot of information over here. Uh, this is probably some bank, my name HDFC Bank the typical bank statement here. So now what I do is, can I import this entire thing at one shot into Tally? And that's possible. And for that, what I do is first, I go to this last column called as remarks. 
under remarks column i add all the names of ledgers and this ledger name has to be the name as per tally see because what happens is assuming i'm talking about you know 61 odd entries if i have to book it into my books or you know 41 odd entries sorry 41 odd entries if i have to pass the entry in my books it takes a good amount of time for me to say what is debit what is credit and a lot of things so instead can i push all these entries at one shot because i know one leg debit or credit has to be the bank the other leg is basically what i'm looking at so for that i only have to ensure i fill up the remarks column for want of any information i've just copy pasted some re random remarks but only thing you have to ensure is this remarks is nothing but whatever is there in your tally account even if there is a space spelling error it will not accept it so now what i do is i again go back to the software and the software is called e to tally soft and here you find an option called bank i click on bank the moment i click on bank a window opens up and that window looks something like this i tell to this software hey you know what please connect to tally and tell me which are the bank accounts so let's presume the bank account is kendra bank and i now tell me where is the data actually starting so i go back to my excel sheet and i tell where the data is starting so let's say from dollar 21 just go there and click okay if you see very carefully or closely the date check number value date and narration have been automatically filled including the deposit and the withdrawal amount what i now need to do is basically enter the corresponding amount i just need to click on column and the moment i choose column i go in there and say remarks remarks is basically where the corresponding ledger is i now convert the data the moment data is converted it converts into some format not relevant for me but i click on view vouchers this is where the beauty of this particular tool is you will find that entire data is converted into journal entries like this you will find canara bank you know assuming because i had given accumulated depreciation there all the journal entries in debit or credit form of course only single entry can convert multiple entry you may have to fine tune it uh, so what you can do is you can always go click edit add row delete row and do it and then you save this you know you sort of save this into the system so let's presume i save it on the desktop that is the favorite dumping ground for most of us so i save this that sheet opens up me a minute it opens up in a different spreadsheet let me quickly share that screen for you so this is how the data looks like it has a transaction id automatically generated date ledger number voucher number our uh, voucher number auto generated debit credit and narration as well and narration is basically whatever was there in the bank statement now all that you have to do my dear friend is pretty simple uh you know just go click on the software called e2t uh go to the import to tally option sorry import to tally option click on vouchers the moment you click on vouchers you get a navigation window and that navigation window is something like this so it basically says accounting cost center what is it that you want to do just go ahead and import it i just say i'll go ahead and import it does couple of you know a minute or two it does some validation and it is actually importing it and it says that in a span of few seconds it is actually imported close to about 41 odd vouchers you know what the beauty is after this is done i can go back to my tally and if i quickly see how many entries are there just go to my day book which was the ledger i passed the entry canara bank so i just go to canara bank i can find all the data being in here so this is the beauty of this particular software in a minute the entire data can come there okay so that is something how you use the software again when do you use the software i told you whenever you have to automate i gave an example of a bank statement you can use this for various other purpose also again you will have to decide 